Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the impeller and seal kit on your dishwasher. It's a really easy repair. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we'll need to remove the dishes from your dishwasher, remove the lower rack. You may also want to remove the upper rack to give yourself a little more room to work. Now that we've got the dishwasher disconnected, our next step will be to open it up and we'll want to remove the bottom rack as well as the top rack. To remove the top rack, we need to disconnect the rack stops on the end of the rails. So we'll need a flat blade screwdriver. We'll just pry the tab away and slide it off the end of the rail. Make sure the blade of the screwdriver is narrow enough to fit into that opening on the rail. And gently pry it just enough to release it. And slide it out to front. Do the same on the opposite side. And then pull that upper rack completely out of the dishwasher. Push the rails back inside. Now with the racks removed from the dishwasher, we can close that door up, lock it again, and then we'll pull it completely out of the cabinets and we'll lay it on its back. Now with the dishwasher laying on its back, our next step will be to disconnect this wire harness to the drain solenoid and just tuck that out of the way. We'll also remove the harness that connects to the drive motor. Again, we'll just tuck that out of the way. Well, next, we're going to remove this short hose from the front portion of that pump. It's typically a quarter inch hex head screw. Screw as that clamp. There's probably going to be some water in that area, so you'll need something to clean that. So just remove that completely. Now next, we're going to remove two more clamps that secure that pump to both the drain portion of the housing as well as the base of the tub. These are normally a 5 16 hex head screw. And then one down from the front. Then lastly, we need to remove the screw that secures the pump to the mounting bracket. And you can remove that bracket and just set it aside. And we're going to pull the pump away from the base of the dishwasher first. Now once we've got it pulled away from the base of the dishwasher and we can pull it up out of that sump housing. We can then just set that pump aside. Now with the pump removed, our next step is to look down in this sump area and just check for any foreign objects that may be down in there. And also you may find some sharp items in there, so use caution reaching in there. Now we'll take that pump and we're going to set it on a suitable work surface where we can change out that seal kit. Now with the pump on a suitable work surface, our first step is going to be to remove this chopper blade. So using a thin blade screwdriver, we'll just go down through one of the openings in that grill until we catch the impeller. Then using a pair of needle nose pliers, we're just gonna turn that chopper blade counterclockwise to loosen it. And we'll spin that off. Now with the chopper blade out of the way, our next step will be to pull that inlet grill out of there. The best tool to use for that is a flat file. You'll note that there are four projections on the top of that. It's threaded in there with a left hand thread, so we're going to catch those tabs, make sure we keep some downward pressure on that, and we'll turn it clockwise. And then we can lift that off. 
So our next step will be to remove the wear ring retainer and the wear ring. Just pull those out and discard all of those pieces. And now we're going to turn the pump over and remove the body from the motor. It's held in place with three Phillips screws. So we just need to remove those. We'll set those screws aside. Now next we're going to take a flat blade screwdriver and we're going to come in through the back side here and just block off that fan that's inside. Use caution that we don't touch the windings. That will prevent the motor armature from turning. And then we'll unthread the impeller from the front side. So we'll take our needle nose pliers again. We're going to catch a couple of the blades on that impeller. And turning it counterclockwise, we'll unthread it from the motor shaft. Discard that. And now we can pull that pump body off of the shaft. And next, we need to remove the old seal assembly. So we're going to push that out from the back side. We'll discard that. Now, our next step will be to install the new seal assembly. So we'll put a little bit of soapy water on the base of that. Put the ribbed end in first. Line that up with the housing and press it in straight, just using your fingers. We can now remount that pump body to the motor. Make sure that it sits flat on all three points and then tighten up the screws. We now tilt that over again and we're ready to install the rest of the components. We'll start with the impeller. I'm gonna thread that onto that shaft. We'll need to put a little bit of downward force on it to get it started. And then we'll need to block the back of that motor shaft from turning, just using a flat blade screwdriver. And then we'll use our pliers and carefully tighten that. caution not to damage the impeller blades. The next step will be to install the wear ring. We want to make sure that we follow the instructions and point the flange towards the motor. The next, the wear ring retainer. We'll line up those four tabs with the slots on the wear ring. And next, we'll install the new suction ring. Again, that threads in counterclockwise. So we want to make sure that we tighten that securely. Again, we'll use our flat file. Now next, we'll install that chopper blade and just make sure that the protruding end in the center there faces towards the motor. Tighten it by hand, then using a flat blade screwdriver, we'll block that impeller from turning. And we'll use our needle nose pliers to just tighten it up. And now we're ready to put that whole assembly back into the dishwasher. So now we need to line up that pump with the sump base first, fit that down into the opening. Make 
sure we don't kink that housing. And then we'll line it up as well with the base of the tub. Make sure those are all fitting snug. And then we'll tighten up those two clamps. We'll reconnect the motor support. Reconnect the short connector hose on the side of the pump. Make sure it's firmly pressed on. Rotate that clamp into position. We'll reconnect our wire harnesses. Now we're ready to stand the dishwasher back up. So we'll line up our fine filter, fit it over the top of that spray arm base, line up the large outlet at the back, the opening in the bottom of the tub, line up the nipple on the front with the connector hose, and then we're going to press it down into place. We're going to overcome the resistance of that tab at the back of the spray arm base until it locks into place. Then we'll press it down until we line up the screw hole. So just line up that screw and tighten it into place. And now we can put the spray arm back on. So just position that spray arm into the opening, press it down until you hear it snap. And now we can go ahead and put the racks back in. So we'll begin by Pulling out the upper rails, and we'll slide that rack into place. And just push the rack all the way back into the tub rails exposed. We'll reattach the rack stops. Make sure the little locking tab is on the outside. Then simply fit it straight in through from the front and press it until it locks in place. Repeat for the opposite side. And then push that upper rack back into position. Install the lower rack and then close the dishwasher up. And your repair is complete.